It appears Giga Berlin is getting approval from the European Union to start using new BYD batteries in the German-made Model Ys. This is the first time we've actually gotten some concrete evidence that Tesla is working with BYD, which as far as we know, they really haven't so far. There were times where we were hearing that BYD wanted to work with Tesla and people from Giga Shanghai denied it because I guess they got their hands full with enough suppliers in China already, but it turned out that there was partnerships going on and BYD Blade batteries have already started showing up and they've already arrived at the Giga Berlin factory which between the race of Giga Texas to Giga Berlin it seems like Berlin has pulled out quite the lead considering it hit 1,000 vehicles per week a while ago but the good news about the blade batteries is that these should be going into more affordable vehicles in the future so these batteries coming from blade are based on the lithium iron phosphate chemistry which means that the cycle life is much higher the much safer batteries and the difference with the blade battery compared to the LFP Tesla's been using in China and even here in North America are the blade batteries are actually structural. So because they actually help hold the vehicle together, that makes them save on weight, reduce cost, reduce complexity with manufacturing the Model Y. And that aligns perfectly with a lot of Tesla's mission statement. And it's basically trying to achieve what Tesla was trying to do with the 4680 batteries, which they still haven't fully ramped yet at Giga Berlin. As far as we're aware, they're not using any 4680 batteries in Model Ys built there, but but the fact that they've started taking batteries from BYD to me says that the 4680 ramp is proving to be a bit more problematic than they originally thought. But like Elon said in previous earnings calls, they want to have like the Baskin Robbins equivalent of battery chemistries. They will buy from any supplier they can in order to accelerate their mission statement, which I think is a good thing. And I had heard of these Blade batteries before, but we just never really got that much evidence that Tesla was using them. And now that we're actually seeing some cooperation going on, it's proving a lot of validity that the largest EV maker in the world actually feels confident in them to use them in their own vehicles. To me, that validates the realness of the chemistry and the structural pack quite a bit more. So we still don't really have confirmation on when they're going to start taking orders for this new Model Y, but it's important to remember that because it's lithium iron phosphate, the energy density isn't quite that high. So EU documents are saying this is a 55 kilowatt hour battery pack, which is not particularly large. It's most likely going into a standard range Model Y of some kind and because it's a structural battery pack and because the energy density isn't too high I would assume that this is going to be a rear wheel drive single motor Model Y unlike the Giga Texas standard range Model Y which was dual motor but I could be wrong on that that's just speculation but I'm hoping that means that they can bring the price of the Model Y in Germany down by a few thousand dollars I know there's already a pretty big backlog as is and so far Giga Berlin has mostly just been building black and white Model Ys and they started with performance they're getting into the long range orders now, but the fact that they're increasing the number of suppliers they're getting batteries from is a good sign for Tesla's future of ramping up cell production. But what I'm trying to figure out is, okay, let's say this hypothetical new Model Y with the blade batteries is lighter and more efficient. And okay, you have a rear wheel drive Model Y with probably a range around 260, 270 miles. And that's the affordable one. And we know that Giga Berlin is using 2170 cells from LG Chem also being shipped from China. And that has like a over 300 mile range with the dual motor powertrain. Same kind of cells are going in the performance Model Y, but simultaneously Tesla is still hard at work trying to get a 4680 battery assembly plant up and running at Giga Berlin so that they don't have to keep importing batteries from overseas. But okay, once they get the 4680 batteries figured out, what Model Ys are those going to go in? I don't know if they plan on like introducing a longer range Model Y with higher energy dense 4680 batteries, or maybe they want to convert just the performance Model Y to 4680s and maybe Giga Berlin will be using higher energy dense cells that way they can get higher range on those models but they've got a lot of freaking suppliers for this one vehicle you know so far they're just building the Model Y and now they're gonna have their own local 4680 battery production plus BYD supplying the blade batteries and also LG Chem supplying them with 2170s and somehow they got to put all of these batteries into the same Model Y just a few different trims I'm sure Tesla is weighing out their options and making sure that whatever they work with, they're going to be making the most amount of electric vehicles possible, which ultimately supports their mission statement. It's just a shame they have to ship them from so far away because I know that from the beginning, Tesla's goal was to try to localize battery production so that you wouldn't have to spend so much money shipping batteries to where the factory was. They want to build them all locally. That's the most efficient way to manage resources, manage raw materials, and to build the car. But regardless of the inefficiencies of shipping, it is just exciting to see a new battery 
battery footprint, which if you haven't seen the blade batteries before, they're basically just these really, really long tiles. They're still kind of prismatic, but they're spaced out a bit differently from the CATL battery packs that are used in the lithium iron phosphate we use in the United States on the Model 3 rear-wheel drive or the LFP batteries they use in China on both the Model 3 and the Model Y. But the fact that they're structural, I'm sure, is a big win for Tesla and they see that as a simplified way to ramp up production and to get the weight down. So I'll keep you guys up to date as soon as we know more about this hypothetical Blade Model Y coming out. Don't expect crazy range or crazy acceleration, but it should have good cycle life and hopefully great efficiency because of the weight savings and if that kind of Model Y sounds interesting to you or if you're upset with the current pricing of the Model Y in Europe, feel free to let me know what pricing you think would be adequate or what you're hoping the Blade Model Y will cost. And of course, thank you to everyone on Patreon for supporting this channel directly. It seriously helps us out a ton, as does just watching these videos. So thanks again and have an excellent rest of your day.